Reading Rhinos presents Audrey Joins the Team by Dave Waymond. Audrey loved sports. Sometimes she even liked to make up her own. So when her friend Maybelline asked her to join the school soccer team, Audrey decided she'd give it a try. Audrey played soccer a bit differently than the other kids on the team. At her first practice with the Piccadilla Bees, she showed everyone her stuff. Her soccer coach said she had interesting technique. Her teammates said they liked her unique practice drills. Audrey herself simply knew that there was more than one way to get the job done. Maybelline was the Piccadilla Bees' star player. Her drop kicks were amazing, and she could expertly dribble, volley, and lob the ball from one end of the field to the other. I'm open! Pass it over here! The big game against the Quakeville Crushers was coming up, and Maybelline was determined that each bee would be ready. Milton worked on his karate kick. Just kick it. Trish developed her breakaway cartwheels. Less spinning. Earl practiced his headers. Use your head, Earl. And Maybelline gave everyone advice. Just watch my awesomeness. Audrey tried to master some of Maybelline's winning soccer moves. But they just didn't feel right. Then, on the day of the big game, nothing felt right. Despite everyone's hard work, the bees were really struggling. Even Maybelline couldn't score a goal. The bees had lost their buzz. Not even pineapple snack break could lift their spirits. Then Audrey realized that the team was named after the bees for a reason. Audrey explained to the team that each bee in every hive has its own special job, but all the bees, drones, workers, and the queen have to work together to make the honey. I get to be the queen bee. You mean you want me to pass the ball? I don't remember anything about honey in the rule book, Audrey, said the coach. Come on, coach, said Audrey. Let's switch to plan B. And so the team put plan B into action. Maybelline actually passed the ball to her teammates. Audrey danced it to the end zone. Milton karate kicked it to Trish. Trish cartwheeled it to Earl. And Earl while Earl used his head. The bees didn't win that day, but they did have fun playing together. And afterward, Audrey wondered if everyone might like to try a new game. Hey, Audrey, said one of the Quakeville Crushers, what are you playing? I call it oddball, said Audrey. Do you want to play too?